Hi, it's Bruce, and uh, what I got to show you today is a uh, DC power supply. It's constant current, constant voltage DC power supply. We've got a, a digital readout for both amps, uh, right down to the hundredth of an amp, and we got voltage down to a tenth of a volt. Uh, you've got coarse and fine controls on uh, both voltage and current. You got a negative output, a positive output, a ground. There's a strap to ground the negative if you want to run it that way. And uh, comes with a little operator's user manual. Um, and inside of it, you'll see that there's uh, there are specs for it. In this case, the uh, the 305D plus or minus one percent precision. Oh, they give working conditions, storage, storage conditions, boring stuff there. But they do talk about how to use the constant current uh, setup, which a lot of people uh, wouldn't know how to do because they're not familiar with it. They don't normally use it. Constant voltage is usually the uh, state that we're in. But uh, it's a nice looking unit. There are no surprises on it. Uh, I've had it on my bench for a while. So, we're going to put it through some uh, paces and, uh, and give you an example of its use. So bear with me. We'll hook her up. Okay, so I've worked up a little demonstration of constant current uh, using this supply. And... Uh, what I've done is I've chosen a current of 0.3 amps and uh, as you can see I'm drawing 0.3 amps and it says I, I'm developing 0.3 volts to do it and that's because it's across a 1 ohm resistor 50 watt 1 ohmer and uh, that's what it would take for a 1 ohm would take 0.3 volts now let's go to a 10 ohm resistor be careful I don't short these things. Alright. Well, there we're on a 10 ohm resistor, but now... Now we've got 3 volts across 10 ohms, and it's producing 0.3 amps. So we maintained our current, but we did it by increasing our voltage. So the current is guiding everything. Let's go to 100 ohms. Alright, so in 100 ohms, we're developing 31 volts across that 100 ohms in order to get 0.3 amps. And there's that extra volt there, the 31 volts, it's either due to loss in a cable or I've got... Um, uh, my resistor is not as as uh, precise as it could be, but we maintained our 0.3 amps and we developed the voltage that we needed in order to get it to be 0.3 amps across that resistance. So as the resistance varies, it maintains the current by changing the voltage. That's constant current. All right, and constant voltage, we'll take a look at that. Okay, if I'm going to operate in constant voltage scenario, which is more of a standard power supply, we're going to turn our voltage from, instead of being all the way up, we're turning it all the way down to start with. And we're going to turn our current all the way up because we don't want our current right now limiting anything. We want it to be what it needs to be uh, for the voltage over the resistance. So let's go ahead and we will choose... Um, let's go with the 0.3 amps again, and that would mean I'd need 3 volts on my uh, power supply here to do that. Alright, so I've got 3 volts going across 10 ohms, and it develops 0.3 amps. 
give or take a little bit of loss in the lines. Now let's go ahead and uh, if I was to put three volts across one ohm, I'm going to wind up with three amps. So we can do that. I got a 50 watt resistor in here. Uh, three amps, that'd be three watts I've got to generate, but let's Okay, so we dropped just a little bit. That's because of our current draw. If I nudge it a bit, we come up some. But we maintain our voltage at 3 volts, and the current does what it does over the resistance, which includes the resistance of these wires. Now, if I go to 100 ohms, these wires are going to become less of a problem. So, 3 volts over 100 ohms is 0 0.03 amps. So, I maintained constant voltage, but my current changed according to my resistive needs. So, there's your constant voltage versus constant current. And, plus, I got to demonstrate that the uh, power supply is working well. All right, we're approaching 5 amps here. There's your 5 amps at 15 volts in this case for this load center. But I've got 31.7 volts, uh, 2.5 amps. Be easy to take her up to 5. There's four. Okay, we've, we've started to hit the limit that my uh, load device can handle, so it's beeping at me. But there's four amps at 31.7 volts, just to demonstrate that it can do it. Okay, I'm going to let this thing cool off. So there you have it. We've got a, a nice supply, nice current reading, nice voltage, good specs on it. Uh, it's working terrifically. Uh, these things are listing uh, new for about 115 bucks or so now. 100 bucks, we'll say it that way. Um, so happy bidding, huh? Thanks for listening.